Welcome to Envisage TV episode number one, our first episode in a series of 10 where we will actually assist uh, our agents and clients uh, in the knowledge that we know and what we have uh, been able to um, uh, develop over the time. Uh, the first episode here is about property is an investment, not an expense. And we're going to go through four key topics on what we believe uh, photography in general can help and the special things behind the photography that we do that uh, sets us apart from everyone else. We've all heard the saying, a picture tells a thousand words. That is never truer than in property photography and property marketing. That's right, through the right images and through the right storytelling, um, a lot of people don't realise that, that in this industry, 10% of what we do is technical and then 90% is through the skill of the photographer and the skill of the photographer um, is then dictated by you know, the price of the product. Um, one saying that I've, I read just recently is that um, uh, skilled labour isn't cheap and cheap labour isn't skilled and that's very true in what we do. There's a real art form to, to property photography. Uh, it's, it's very different to portrait photography or to um, wedding photography for example and it takes a photographer who knows that art form and knows how to compose an image in a way that's going to best market that property. Now specifically in doing that is that we have to have a very high attention to detail and with attention to detail we need to bring our marketing hats and our marketing hats play a big part in the difference between standard photography out there and professional photography we provide. And the attention to detail that we uh, bring to every single shot is designed to attract the buyer. You'll often see us doing things like straightening uh, stools in a kitchen or um, you know, slightly moving books on a, on a coffee table, um, you know, repositioning pillows, fixing curtains so they're hanging nicely. Uh, all those kinds of things are the things that um, take time when we're on site. So you'll often find that when we're on site, we're not in and out of a property in 15 minutes. We're there for, you know, in some cases, an hour or, or, or even a little bit more, depending on the size of the property and the way it has been presented. We want to make sure that those details are correct. What Jonathan said about attention to detail is absolutely right. All the little things that we do add up to a big difference at the end of the day. And it's that difference that attracts the buyer. And when we have more buyers clicking on the listings, there's more opportunity to sell the property. And the little hidden benefit of that as well is that you have more buyers or a bigger buyer pool that you can use throughout the rest of your listings, which is a very important thing. And when we look at every single property, we treat properties as products. So we need to market that product to the best of our ability. It is the, it's just the seller's number one asset and it's the buyer's emotional purchase. So we have to make sure that we marry the two together. Part of our job is to assist the agent in getting as many people to engage in that property as possible. We don't want to give too much information to the extent where the buyer isn't coming to the property or picking up the phone and calling the agent, but we want to give enough information to yeah, get them to, to act and pick up the phone or, or visit the open home. Part of the way that we do that, obviously, is through imagery. Uh, if a buyer goes to realestate.com, one of the ways that they're going to filter which property they look at is the quality of those images. If they see two houses side by side, similar price, similar area, one has amazing photos, one has you know, photos taken on the agent's iPhone, it's, it's pretty obvious which one they're going to click on and have a look at first. If a chef cooks an amazing meal, is it because of his skills as a chef or is it because he has a great oven? I think we all know the answer to that. The same thing applies with photography. Anyone can have a $10,000 camera and lens and tripod and, and all the, the flash equipment, but without the skills, that amounts to nothing. Envisage actually has three unique steps to the way that we produce the imagery that we do. One is the photography, two is in post-production, and three is in the placement. So the first point there is the photographer with his skills produces a fantastic image in the camera, regardless of the camera quality. The second part is that the production or the post-production side of what we produce is industry leading. And then there's placement, and that's where you guys come in. So the placement of the imagery then can go onto multiple mediums. It can go on signboards, it can go on marketing pieces such as print, magazines, newspapers, and also our virtual video products. Once you have the foundation of a fantastic photo and you have the foundation of a great marketing campaign, then those photos can then be used in a myriad of other places to attract buyers. 
Thanks for joining us for this first episode of Envisage TV. In the next episode, we'll be talking about some of our video products and how they can be used to engage buyers and particularly taking into account some of the younger generation who are coming through and how they will be relying on social media uh, in their search for their home. And correctly done video products as well is a key where we actually will discuss the differences between a good video product and a bad video product and customer engagement. So thank you very much for joining us for this episode. We hope to see you on the next one and keep selling. Take one. Okay, just <coughs> level the voice. Jay. <coughs> <Okay. laughs>